410. Please note that we have uh, Mr. Axford in attendance, Judge Haggerty, myself, Ms. Robles, Dr. Graham. Quorum, Ms. Nakina will, will, it's not going to make the meeting tonight, and Ms. Sanchez will join us in a little while. Public comment, anybody speaking? Public comment? Mr. Lobato? No? no. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yours, Paul. All right. Well, good afternoon, Dr. Serrano, other board members, Chair Carroll. Um, I'll go ahead and buy a starting to give you an update of where we are on the college course. Um, starting with Mission El Paso. As you can tell, they, they're moving right along. There's a uh, right there, that's where they put the new sewer line. The, the starting to form the view ponds. And just to give you an idea how deep those ponds are, here's the flood right there compared to the top of the, uh, of the ponds. Um, I, I, I'd like to go ahead and give you just a kind of a quick reminder also as far as how these bars work for each project. Um, so uh, just, just starting with a notice to proceed. Um, so, for example, another, I'm just using Mission Elpaso as an example. The other ones will just be the full bar. Starting with a notice to proceed was the September 10th. And each one of these blocks means basically where we are currently. So today, January 24th, for instance, we're at 32%. And then that's where substantial completion is. Now, uh, I need to remind you substantial completion when the building is used to be, to be occupied for its intended use. So there's still some occupancy after that. So after that, here's the occupancy, and typically that takes 30 days. So right now, what we're looking Steve, at. When you say occupancy, that means move, move in. Of, move, yes, sir. Move yeah. in furniture yes, and. Yes, sir. All and the. Make sure the lights are functional. Right, and right. right. And then, at the end of occupancy, basically for all practical purposes, you're ready to use the building as you like. But in here, I'm also adding when we're planning on moving in. And in this case, actually, that should be in the June. If, if you read there, I apologize for that. But you'll be summer one. Now, keeping in mind, one thing I do want to mention, uh, I'm giving you our best guess when we're going to open as far as the semester. So if you can tell right here, well, you could tell me, well, why don't you open in, in January? But I know there's at least 30 days of extension coming up. That includes the, those days. If you recall earlier, earlier on, right in September, we didn't actually start to look over on Mission Delta project. So that puts us right in the middle of January. So if you just see there from where we are to when we're supposed to be done, the likelihood that we'll have more extensions is high. And all you'll think it's a good rain in August and we're past that beginning of the spring semester. So that if there's no that rain, that means you're gonna move it that way. If there's no rain or any other kind of extensions. But yes, actually, that's what I was trying to tell you is there is a possibility, but it's remote, that we could open in the spring. But just to be- Dr. Strada, yes sir. If, if, just playing what if, and they could do that, it, it would still be difficult then all of a sudden to change scheduling if you find out like in November or December to change scheduling to move classes to the new building in January, isn't it? That's I mean, correct. What, what we would do um, right now, just based on the way that it's set, my recommendation to our team would be to look at scheduling um, second mini semester, so as opposed to waiting all the way into the, the summer. So second mini begins in March. Oh, I didn't so, know that. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah, so right, yeah. And that would be what yeah. we'd look at just to That's be safe, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. correct. Yeah. Because remember, they're going to deliver our head of schedule. And under budget. And under budget. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, moving on. So we're here now. Um, the, the rough rating is pretty much done, 95% completion, over excavation and bed, uh, the, the building pad preparation. It's complete. Uh, demolition, the existing concrete channel is complete. Uh, and then the excavation of the ponds. We have basically three ponds, and they are. 95 and 85% complete. Um, the grading of the plaza behind the, where the building is going to be is 20%. And that's where the line you saw here. Oh, no, I'm not going to hold it up. Hold it up. Uh, right here. This is the sewer line. As you can tell, it's far from the project. This is where the path of the building is going to be. 
And this sewer line is going to come, there's a parking lot over there and it come all the way across and then connect with this. So they already have that part pretty much done. They're about 80% to 80%. So that's, uh, that's good. And uh, they actually started already with the spot and continuous footings for the structure of the building. Uh, they have 4,331 hours, man hours work, and no requirements of safety incidents. Looking at the numbers, uh, so far we pay 912,961, and I, I didn't realize there's a big gap in there, but I think part of that is because we started 30 days late, and because it's not in the contract yet, if you recall that little box that I showed that extended the late 30 days, that's not in the contract yet. I just was giving you a heads up that's coming out. And as such, these numbers here are actually based on contract uh, dates and numbers. So, but we're, we're, we're okay. Uh, when you're looking at the percentages, uh, they're at about 7.23% of the uh, construction cost expended. And uh, going on to Northwest, in this view here, you can already tell that's uh, they're about 65% complete with this retaining wall. This is the retaining wall. They're, the part they're wrapping up, this is the part that's already almost complete. Um, here also, when you look at the schedule, and I apologize again for that, I'll try to make those letters a little bigger. But what you're looking at there is the spring semester. So it'll be spring of 2020. Uh, you're looking at the uh, move in uh, starting in mid-August. And then, but now we, they already have 20 days extension because, as you recall, there was a whole issue about the permit and getting uh, getting the contractor to get going with that. So, with that being said, again, this is another one of those that would take us into the middle, at the actual end of September, and so we'd lose the fall semester. There's no mini semesters in the fall, is it? There is. Oh, so there might we be another that option. Answer. Yes, that's, that's what I would recommend. I'm glad to know that. Yeah. And, and honestly, when we get about two to three months closer to the completion date, we, we can reevaluate all this and see if there's a need to actually accelerate. Like if we need just to catch up on week, maybe we could do that. Or even make some uh, arrangements to be substantial completion. Um, so here you can tell there's the footings already, there's the, the continuous footing here for the mechanical room, and that's already 100% now. The continuous footings for the rest of the building about 50% complete. Um, the underground can do completely the conduits for underground's already started. The, the telephone line location is now complete. And uh, the building <coughs> pattern the building material and confection is now 100% complete. Uh, the retaining wall, like I told you before, it's 60%. That first part, this part <coughs> here, this part right here is pretty complete, but they still like this. Um, so that project is doing well as well. It's doing very well. Um, we spent nine hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars on that, and we should be more at one million. And the reason for that, there's a big gap in here. It's, it's simple from the standpoint that uh, we thought. Actually, this is fairly consistent across all the projects. We thought that obviously the December time period, but also in terms of concrete. They are about to do a lot of concrete in this project, so we feel confident that this gap here will start closing. So you don't have little, to, sir. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to. Just out of curiosity, just out of curiosity, we have the money That's right. for yes. the blue line. Correct. Yes, sir. Oh, absolutely. In the bank. Correct. Yes, sir. We have not dispersed. We've dispersed the money in the red line. Correct. Yes, sir. Are we earning interest on the delta between yes. us? Yes, ah. yes, sir. I'm but are we that. limited on the amount of interest? 2.09% of your Yeah, exam. but I mean, it, it's oh, better than 0.09. 2.09, because that was, okay. the, two, that was the repo that we had in just time. Okay. But, yeah, 2% of 100 million. And we get reimbursed every time that we submit the, ex the, the request to get reimbursed from uh, from, from the uh, repo investment. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep the red line long. Well, that's what I was going to tell. That's a great way to see it as well. We're earning you some additional interest. Did you oh, hear me, Mr. Robbins? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. So Fernie is correcting me. I'm sorry, I apologize. The 2.09% was actually the interest on the bonds. 1.11% is what we are earning right, right. now. Oh. Yeah. Did you hear Mrs. Robbins? Yeah. I'm sorry, Mrs. Robbins? I didn't need to hear the bad news. What did you say? <laughs> yeah. I, I said, well, I don't worry about the budget with 
Ms. Shaughnessy. Oh. But we at least make the money, we make interest on that. 1.11. Delay the difference. And as we get reimbursed, that money though isn't reinvested in as a higher yield. Good. So that's the one thing we do have to remember. And that is past 2%. That's 2.2. About 2.48. 2.48. Yeah. So we want to get reimbursed as soon as possible because we reinvest that money. That's right. Uh, the Rio Grande, this, this project is good as well. It's moving along pretty well, too, albeit it's slightly behind. Uh, this <coughs> area here is the right here from where the main lobby entrance is between the Queen House and where the new building should be. And the reason I put this, this slide is about uh, two weeks old because that's when we flew the drone. This was last Tuesday. We actually started with Flatport, which is a great start. Um, now, I, I would be remiss to, if I didn't tell you, I am concerned about Rio Grande just for the sake of fact to see where the numbers come. Right now, they have 45 days death there for a week, if you recall. And I've been using fairly consistently this number every every meeting. But I want to keep on reminding you that, that that's the numbers out there. And that includes, that excludes, I apologize, that excludes some of the weather days that fill up yet, but we don't have confirmation on those weather days. So what I'm getting at, as you can tell right now, this is where right now it looks like the substantial completion is going to hit, which would be early August. But then we can take 45, the occupancy here, so you're already getting into September. So it's, it's going to be very, very tight. And I, I'll tell you what it actually, the worries get the most is just this time frame. we got about a, a year and a half to go. With that in mind, there's a lot of things that could still to happen. So I just want to caution you, we're making every effort we can within our hands to try to not only accelerate that, but ask the contractor to somehow come back with ideas how we though they can accelerate the work that on, on site. Uh, that being said, they're doing great from the work they actually doing on site right now. Uh, they're doing very well. Um, so as you can tell here, um, Okay. The, the great thing that happened very recently is the electrical service was finally restored to the old temple. Um, and uh, the foundation ground, the, the great beam, <coughs> is about 70% completed overall. And, uh, and it's like I showed you previously, it's this area here. And uh, they already actually started raising walls. You can see, you will start seeing walls there. And, uh, it, but it, it is a challenge because it's it's a very limited site area. They constantly, even we just came from a meeting just a while ago, a weekly meeting, and they constantly say, well, that's such a tight site, find places to put the, the equipment and find places to put the, uh, the that plywood so, box, is that protecting that this, historical this, fence? No, it's, no, it's, it's really protecting the, 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 the bus stop. Because oh. if we had to protect that historically, <laughs> if we even touch it, Judge, they'll they charge us a million dollars yeah. for that. That's why we boxed That's it. That's correct. Really? Mm -hmm. And they're not angry that we boxed it? No. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, it's, it was the only other option at, at a reasonable cost that we could do. Now, if for some reason they damage it, the other contractor would have to pay for that. Oh, it because they already built it, it's boxed because it's already <coughs> built. Right. It's already in place. Yes, sir. That's correct. Right. Yeah, always a functional real site. So how did they get permission to, to build it on that historical fence? No, it's not a historical it's fence. Just the, the fence itself of Queen Anne. But it's a historical sidewalk, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I thought the historical <laughs> fence was somewhere else. Yes. This, do we have... Do we have access to the KTSM parking lot now? We are about to have access. Okay, to so access. will that alleviate some of their uh, your interesting loca you location uh, facility? Uh, interesting question as the staff's recommendation right now, uh, Mr. Exer, is to um, no, not renew um, one of our temporary lots that we have that's signed till um, February because what at, having access to the KTSM, we're actually plus parking before this started. Uh, and so we will not pay for that lease. The recommendation is we not move forward with that lease. How much is that gonna save us? $6,300 a month. Will, will you wow. tear down the fence at KTSM or just- Right now, it? right now, in the future, we will take it down. 
right now we um, are going to leave it up temporarily. No, um, would you use a KTSM to replace the lot? That you know, I was wondering, would that help them in their tight parking space for their uh, construction? See, he said that there have weekly they're getting some comments that, and you can see that all the construction materials there in the parking lot is difficult to move around. Yes. It, it, could any of the KTSM lot be used? Uh, for the material? For the for material and or the parking. Isn't it too far and from the construction For site? parking, it's on the other side. No worries. For parking, no worries. For the material, not currently. If, if we did the materials, then we'd need to keep the temporary lot because we, that would take up a significant yeah. number of spots. Right. Okay. Uh, so if this project, they voice the 3.8 million. Out of the 12.4 estimated, we're staying this one. We're staying actually pretty close to where we should be. Sure, need a bigger gap. Um, now, by here, as you can tell, this is very exciting. They just started the, the steel erection. Uh, they started a little slow, but they certainly more than made it up and picking it up. Um, so here we are. We haven't uh, formally nothing has changed here. It will change by 22 days, and that's weather days and uh, some coordination days we needed because of the uh, kind of footing that so we call the one of the micro, micro on, the, on the foundation. <coughs> so that requires some additional uh, coordination. But even so, now if we look uh, here, we basically still are only members so of our estimate at this point is that it will be perfectly okay with, uh, with the spring semester. Um, as far as the progress, the steel, like I said, is picked up pretty well. They're bringing some more people. Uh, the underground fire line and gas line and water line are all complete. On the underground conduit for the new transformer is also complete. The roof in is they started the electrical roof in the first floor, which is great. They really, uh, if I may add, that they, they did get a little bit behind, but they're making every effort. As a matter of fact, we met with them last Tuesday to supplement with any kind of uh, labor to catch up and, and it seems to us that that has worked out pretty well, even with the holidays in the way. Um, they've invoiced $6 million in, uh, of the 6.8 estimated. And this one, there's a, a little bit of a little, and, and actually it's interesting because some of these, these are more used as tools, but this one actually does mean something. It's basically when we started with the steel and we got a little behind when we first started, so, and uh, throwing in the hollows at the same time, and actually that, that does reflect the what's going on in the field. This is my very PTC. It absolutely looks absolutely fantastic. I think it was there last Friday, just uh, touring it, and just so impressive how uh, this is moving along. Um, you can tell here this is all automated, automotive bag, and this is what we're looking at. There's collision, uh, collision, and a collision. I'm sorry. See that really goes there. Thank you. The Freudian slip there. Collision. It's right there at the end. And then uh, this area here is automotive, which is what you're looking at. And as you can tell, it's it's very impressive. Yeah. Um, and then the diesel area, which is this area here, is this area here, which is equally impressive. Um, this this project uh, is right on budget, on schedule right now, and on budget as well. Um, and as you can tell, we even get a little bit of time from the time of the substantial completion. We'll move the move in here, and before the, the summer one semester, we get a little bit of time there, just in case. We, we, we can certainly always use it, so this would be the extra time. So that, that's, that's very good. Um, as you can tell, it's a lot of these things are complete, all the structural work and the structure, all the structural work is complete. Uh, chemical work, uh, a lot of the heating, ventilation, air conditioning systems going out. Uh, the uh, VAV units are 90% complete, complete. The rooftop units are 80% complete. It's moving very fast and it's very visible now. Uh, the architectural work, uh, the exterior finish is 80% complete, uh, the roof is 95% complete. And uh, these translucent panels, you really can't tell on this picture. Let me see if you can tell a little bit on this. Yeah, you can see it from the inside, it's these panels that uh, they're not clear, but they bring all the light in. So they, 
makes the spaces <coughs> very pleasant to be in and frees a lot of natural light in it. And they look very good from the outside as well. Um, the as far as the progress on budget, there is still at the no budget no colleges, there's an payments. 4.5 million versus 5.8. Um, there it, it is splitting out here, but the, the, we, we're so close now that even then we're not that worried with it about that. A lot of this obviously is also that equipment deal approved. We haven't received it yet, so they're still they still have the invoice for all that equipment. Um, and uh, Trans Mountain, finally the, the last project. This one is ready to complete just two weeks before I at DPC. As you can tell, it's it's all the exterior, they're almost done. They just need to paint the exterior you know, here, the, all the plumbing rough in and top balance, everything's 100%. Age back is 90% complete. The roofing company is stuck with complete. Uh, all the structure complete. Um, and right now, the installations in the sheet rock inside, it's, it's uh, in progress. This also, there's a gap in there, but it again, uh, like Mr. X has said, he actually earning interest on that, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and here is the actual percentage complete for, for the uh, invoices and the payments. Just recapping the, the schedule, uh, the skill looks, this hasn't changed anything from the last meeting we had. These, these, like I told you, might change once the, uh, or not might, they will change once the conference, the, uh, Turn those into the contract. These these dates again still the same. Uh, now I might adjust this once I get the, the dates for those new <coughs> semesters. I might start fine tuning those semesters, and I'll get with the uh, with the staff to get those dates. And so next uh, next meeting you should you should have that up there. Um, and an overall budget update. If nothing much changed at all. Uh, the good news is you like I've been telling you for a while. Hi. She's taking over where Selena went. Don't mind me. She's taking over where Selena went. Nice to meet you as well. Oh, that's right. Yes. 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 She's expecting something. Yeah. She yeah. might have been stuck in the traffic. Oh, she's just taking after Selena. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, the difference is the shock. The difference is the hair's not all curly. Now I'm going to go ahead and start all over. There you so go. <laughs> uh, so as you can tell, it, it was 1% and I've been telling you that I may have to ask Ms. Johnson for some additional funds from the contingency from mm -hmm. this number here. Uh, <laughs> that is not going to have to happen, thank goodness, because it looks like uh, as far as the equipment, we, uh, we're over budget by enough that we feel like we're going to be able to cover those expenses. Unless there's a big surprise right there at the end, I think we should be fine. Um, and so here, so this is remaining exactly the, the same um, as last time, and as far as I can remember uh, earlier. Wayfinding update. I really it was my intention to bring to you some uh, images for the wayfinding. However, we're still dealing with the city in terms of how what the height will be allowed for the signs, particularly the monument signs by the highways, this being Northwest, being Trans Mountain, the Mission Del Paso. So rather than bring something and show you something that the city will mix us on, we, we are uh, bring it back to you next, at the next, uh, at the next meeting, with uh, some updated images that reflects what we need to be able to build. So, um, so at this time, that's kind of the update. Uh, on Monday, by the way, we'll be meeting with the city uh, to uh, to discuss uh, any options, maybe kind of terms of areas. Because honestly, right now, Northwest and Trans Mountain are residential areas. And if you recall, we went for rezoning, and then we have to unrezone it. Well, it seems like we might have to go to rezoning again to be able to build all our sites because there are limits right now are 10 feet. And honestly, 10 foot sign by the highway is not even worth it. So we might get, if we can get it rezoned, it'll be 35 feet, which is much more, uh, much more preeminent, for lack of a better term. So I will come back to you later with an update on that. Um, now, going to, we have two action items. The first action item is the purchase of furniture for the Trans Mountain campus. Um, 
I, I just want to caution you that this won't be the last time I will be presenting this to you for Trans Mountain. We need to go ahead and proceed with with Orning the Friendship of Trans Mountain. It will be two separate POs. One is a business environment. We know now the other one's a Smith company, but we didn't know that when we we're doing the agenda. So in order to keep up with the way it's supposed to be, we're going to go and ask you to allow, this is our budget, and a guarantee we won't go over that. We know, as a matter of fact, we'll probably come a little bit under that number, the 438750. But right now, we're asking for your approval on the on the contract of business environments on the deal for business environments so we can pursue the authority. It's the majority of the furniture. But that's the amount for both yes, POs, sir. correct? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Ruben, do we need to have it? Um, can we can we just use the amount, <coughs> or can it can it be the? We really should approve the contract. Okay. But right. but it's, this is the big, the much bigger contract by okay. far. Right. Are we going to approve both of them now? Um, we'll bring well, the second one. The, the amount. Right. Okay. That's all posted for it. That's okay because it's really a small portion. It's under fifty, right? No, okay, it's but it's a smaller part portion, and this will help us immensely if you approve this. Yes, Just sir. real quick, can you tell what the difference is between business environment and the other one? I mean, that's that's why I was asking Ruben. I can't recall Actually, our business recall. environments. Um, we we approach business environments as the only vendor, and one of their agreements with their vendor require that the PO be cut directly to them. So Smith is actually a vendor of businesses. It's a sub, a sub it guy. is, it is, but they require the PO be done correctly with them. Okay, so it's, the, it's it's because of contractual issue, not because of type of yes, type yes, of stuff. The the issues on their side. Yeah, but, but it's not. I mean, it's all one and the same. You know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Moved or approved? Second. We have to state the motion. Oh, you need to read it. It's on. Well, okay. Oh, Pam, down oh, here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Is it Pettis? Is that how you pronounce it? Yes. We'll request the Board of Trustees to formally approve to award a contract to the New Mexico Office Products DBA Business Environments in the not to exceed amount of $438,750 for the purchase and installation of furniture for the upcoming, upcoming Trans Mountain Campus Edition. Pam, um, Mr. Judge Haggerty made the motion. I second. Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Questions? No? Just think it's interesting. Judge Haggerty approved the trans. Made the motion for Trans Mountain. Mm -hmm. So quick. <laughs> <laughs> Jumped on it right away. And had you read the. $500,000 for Trans Mountain. Yeah. 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 So quick. <laughs> 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 No hesitation. You didn't even question opinion. Huh? You didn't even question opinion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 5.2, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the next one is a utility easement uh, request from our Buxer Land Company to, uh, to access the site to provide us power for the building. Hopefully, you'll approve this one because we really need the power. Uh, this is the location. This is I-10 right there. This is the main entrance. This is where the new building will go. And just zooming in a little bit into the, where the building is, you'll see this is the point of connection. There's a box here that uh, a vault that they will tie into. And then what we what we're allowing is a 10 foot wide easement <coughs> that will bring from that connection point into the building to provide power for the building. Yes, sir. Would you just sort of in general indicate where the plumbing areas are oh yeah and as a, oh i had to get me on that one because actually this has changed a little bit uh, right now the way it was bid it was one here and one pond here now we kind of have an additional pond because after we took this to the county if you recall that was part of the delay is the county said they needed additional retainage area in the we had to retain all the way water that went through this side. So I'll be glad to bring it if you no, like. No, I, I mean, I, I just, I just. The, the ponds are, they're huge. They're, they're, they're they come it. all the way around here. That's one. And the, when you first done is two, but now there's like a third one over here in the south. And it's what in anticipation of, of maximum flow. It's the 100 year. 100 year flow one. coming down, down grade from the north. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. What else can it, can it be besides just 
an area for one or hundred years from now. Oh, well, no, this will look very good, it'll very nice. I mean, how is it gonna look? You'll be landscaped, all this area, actually. Uh, the With big trees or little trees? Yeah, big <laughs> trees. <laughs> Dr. Graham doesn't like little trees. <laughs> um, <laughs> landscaping. <laughs> That means big know. weeds. Did you ever consider one that I suggested at UTEP, that area that's, uh, that they've done such an awesome job with the landscaping and it's all desert. Oh, that was my project when I was working for the UT system. So oh, I'm so you're familiar, familiar with, with it. it. Yes. That's the expectation of this. <laughs> <laughs> so don't go putting in little weeds. <laughs> no, no, hopefully not. This actually, we, we just as a, a little anecdote, we were talking about where to put the wet thing up, and we decided to put it and put it here on the top of this roof because this area, this side here, is actually going to look nicer. It's still going to look very nice, and very effective. Yes, uh, for the utility easement, the placement of it is it going to disrupt any of the uh, any existing roads there that will need to be repaved? Or are we looking at the end of land right there? On the the, side? All this land, and see right now, see how you have these parallel roads. We're going to kind of bottleneck a little bit here to slow down the traffic in front of the building. But as far as this, this is all the existing areas now. So I guess that's your question. Is okay. Thank you. Okay. And so here's the actual document. And there's the drawing that they will attach to the document. <coughs> and here's the white easement. And here's the action. Okay. Motion approved. Well, we have to make a motion. I just made a motion. I second. Yeah, you didn't read it. So I was going to read it. Give me a chance. <laughs> motion to approve uh, Director President the Grant for Mission of Paso Campus Eastman to, to the oh, Paso Bank to the Direct DCM and the EPCC staff to take the serious steps and the easement formally recorded. Second. Second by Mr. Haggerty. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Ms. Sanchez asked a good question. They will any any um, damage to our sidewalks that actually that box is going to go through sidewalks, no. etc. Let, let me show the you connection that. The connection is no, and I apologize if I didn't answer yes. uh, yes. properly. This see this area right here, there's nothing really going there. So all this is going to be redesigned up to about right here. So it might maybe some patching okay. to to be but overall no, it's all all that is part of the contract. So in overall, in all the projects, we've only had one incident of an injury? Yes, ma'am. That's It's been good. fantastic. Yeah, I, I, I'm very excited about that. And that one injury was just a sprained ankle that they didn't have to stop or anything. Wow. So, no, that, that's been one of the things not to do with the poster. It's been very well annoying. Yes, sir. Uh, we have, um, thank you very much, but we, we're going to go with the executive in a minute okay. for, under personnel. Um, but Pam has been kind enough to make a, a schedule for us for February, <coughs> March, and uh, April, and May. And <coughs> I'll pass that out right now. But I was noticing we just have one facility and finance committee meeting per, per month. Are, are you not anticipating us? You don't no, want sir. us to lock up that date? No, if you recall, once we started construction, a lot of the things that needed to be addressed uh, were were already handled. So it's been working very well to have it once a month. Now, you kindly offer to have any kind of special meetings if necessary, and we'll absolutely take you up on it if needed. No, no. But uh, we, we don't foresee the need to meet. We don't foresee the okay. need to meet. All right, just have, uh, so there's only one significant change for the of the board with regards to the calendar. It's, um, we moved, right now we're trying to keep them on Wednesdays, I know, unfortunately in February we moved it to a Monday, that's my fault. Um, I have to be in D.C. on that Wednesday, so my apologies to the board. Which one? Um, the first one, Judge, the one in February. February. That's the only, other, otherwise we're trying to maintain those Wednesdays, I know, uh, based on the board schedules, we're trying to make sure that we have consistency, so again, my apologies. Um, that's for the, the El Paso branch of the Dallas that, that I have to be in, in uh, D.C. for. Oh, it's like a new chair. Yeah. Who's our chair? Um, I don't even know yet. I wasn't there. Mary kid. Oh, great. You didn't work for her? Mary's at the Dallas, oh, so I'm was. not on that. I took Mary's spot on the El Paso branch. Oh, okay. Because right. she got promoted to the, to the big one. She didn't chair. Well, good for Mary. Oh. <coughs> All right. It, yeah. it is... 
Uh, anybody, any, any other comments? Okay, then we'll go to the executive. It's 445. A motion to adjourn and we'll go to executive. Under what provision? Some move that you adjourn. Uh, uh, personnel. Personnel? So it's five. And contracts. And, and contracts. Mm -hmm. So we we'll adjourn? Yes, and then oh, we'll, we'll, no. well, read this in the executive. I'm sorry. So we recess into executive session. Yeah, please. Would you like me to read the uh, statement? Yeah. Oh, uh, after Brian comes back from his five minutes break. Right? Uh, at any time during the meeting, the Board of Trustees may conduct an executive closed session pursuant to Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code for one or more of the following reasons. Consultation with its attorney to seek to receive legal advice or consultation with the public for the litigation or community for authorized by law, discussion about the value of transfer of real property, discussion about a prospective situation, consideration of specific personnel matters, discussion about security personnel or discussion of significant economic matters, or the national analysis on the subject yeah. agenda, if the subject yeah. matter is permitted yeah. for a closed yeah. session. Yeah. By provisions of Chapter 551 of the Texas Government no, Code, any vote regarding these items shall be taken in open session. The time is 4.46 p.m. Uh, it is time to adjourn. 5:45. We're adjourning. We go to the big room. Big room. Uh. <laughs>